Okay, good morning. Welcome to this Bout of Books vlog. It is Thursday. For those of you who don't know, this readathon started on Monday. So it's been a crazy week. And also not yet, yeah, no, it's been a crazy week. I tried to film throughout the week. There's little bits and pieces that I'll show you. So Monday, I was just not feeling the day at all. I was just so tired and so out of it and bleh feeling. I'm having some serious Monday blues and it might just be because I haven't had coffee and I'm still really tired but I just don't want to do anything except for sit in bed and watch reruns of Friends and I know that's not going to help anything today so that's why I decided to like go out and read somewhere outside. I just don't want to do anything right now. Hopefully that'll change once I get coffee in my system but just the fact that so many people are out right now and I'm going to be seeing so many people too it's just like <laughs> Sorry for the wonky mood this morning. Monday blues are for real though. Tuesday, I was determined to finish Night City Burning by J. Patrick Black, which wasn't even on my TBR. It was just a book that I needed to finish before the readathon that I didn't end up finishing. We're going for the classic pizza bagel this morning because it is 9.55 a.m. and I have this insane craving for pizza right now. And no pizza place is gonna be open right now, so there we go. I have less than a hundred pages of Ninth City Burning left and I need to finish it today because I need to read other books. And this book is so good, it's just not a readathon book and uh, life. <sighs> finished it, went straight to work, reviewed it after work while stuffing my face with pizza and then I woke up in the morning on Wednesday and went straight to work again and then after work I went straight to my boyfriend's house because Wednesday is boyfriend day. So the only thing that I read so far for the readathon was something that wasn't even on my TBR, Ninth City Burning. Haven't started any other books. Monday night I ended up actually getting really wonderful news from work and then I got a really exciting email. So that got me out of my little slump sort of thing that I was in and I ended up being in a really great mood after that. I'm still in that really great mood and I'm still really really excited to start things for the email opportunity that I was given that I'll be telling you about probably next week but there's so many things that I want to do for it and so I'm gonna be focusing mainly on that and also I have a meeting with my district manager today at work and then after that I'm hanging out with coworkers. This is one of those readathons that just did not go as planned whatsoever and sometimes that happens and that's a thousand percent okay. Why is my face not focusing? There we go. Yeah, it's just not going as planned. It's fine. Everything's fine. If things don't go as planned, that's okay. I did still read. I read like a little over a hundred pages this week and it was of a book that I really wanted to finish. So I'm fine with that and I still plan to read some things that were on my TBR. But dear God, nothing. <laughs> I planned to read so hard and it just didn't work out, but it worked out for the better. Like, really great things have been happening, so I'm a-okay with it. It's just, yeah, not what I expected. So, I'm gonna try and read some of The Vegetarian today by that author whose name I cannot pronounce, but I will be trying to read some of that throughout the day. Most of the time, though, I will not be reading, and that's okay. The main thing that I felt really bad about is I was really looking forward to vlog the entire week for you guys and it just <laughs> hasn't been working out so I'm really sorry about that. Um, other than that though I don't feel bad about not reading as much as I thought that I was going to be reading because sometimes that happens and that's life. That's it. I'll see you guys soon either later today or tomorrow. Okay I'm about to head to my work meeting. It's still Thursday. This is my outfit. I'm trying to go for like business casual even though I'm wearing jeans which kind of like makes me nervous that I'm wearing jeans but it's either that or work pants and I think I'd prefer to wear like nicer jeans than work pants. Hopefully it goes well. I don't think that there's any way that it could go bad but it just depends on how good it will actually be. So hopefully things go really well. I provided myself with little notes for my meeting just because I'm always scared of becoming forgetful during the middle of it and just blanking out. This is the Starbucks cup that I'm bringing with me today because I needed coffee. I literally didn't eat anything today and it's almost 1 p.m. and I just ate a peach and now I'm starving. So there's that. Hopefully it'll go well. So consensus about what that meeting, how, how it just went. I can't stop smiling because I feel like there was definite progress made and ah, 
I feel really, really good because I feel like a lot, a lot, a lot of opportunities are presenting themselves to me this week. Um, it's just one of those things now where it's a huge waiting game, and it's just like, okay, when is it actually gonna happen though? And when everything happens, I'll be like, guys, this happened. But um, it's a Starbucks thing, so it's not like. I'm just, I'm really excited. It is now 8 a.m. on Friday and I have the day off again, so that's exciting. After getting super excited after my meeting yesterday, I went out with some coworkers and got some margaritas and some tacos. Went to bed super early, so now I'm awake. And I'm finally gonna force myself to sit down and read and I'm finally gonna read some of the vegetarian. I do still have uh, quite a few things that I want to do today slash need to do today, but they could be done anytime. Also, I want to show you guys that I picked some things up from ColourPop and they came in the mail yesterday. A lot of people were saying in my makeup book tag video that ColourPop is cruelty free, so that's super cool and I wanted some new options to try out. So I've got this new highlighter that I'm trying out, which I usually get my highlighters from Becca and Becca is cruelty free anyway, but might as well try it. This is a cream gel eyeliner. I always use liquid liner, I've never used a gel liner, but I've been intrigued and I always use the Kat Von D eyeliner and be because that one's cruelty free and I wanted to try a new one because it's not my favorite so that's what my new eyeliner is gonna look like and we'll see how that goes it got really good reviews online so hopefully it's a good one I'm gonna go sit and read now hopefully I get somewhere with this I read 18 pages before showering and getting ready I think I'm just really excited to like start my errands and get the day done so I'm gonna do that I brought my book with me this is how the makeup turned out. I feel like I look a lot more highlighter-y. And this eyeliner is super black, which I really like. It was my first time putting on gel liner and I'm kind of scared that it's gonna chip away throughout the day. Uh, also, I didn't use the right brush because I don't have the right brush. So at Target, I'm gonna get the right brush. I'm about to go to Target and then the library and then the post office. And then back home to do some more cleaning slash work type things. We'll see how the day goes. I think it's gonna go well. I'm excited about it. So it's a little after 12.30 now, a little past noon, and I've literally done everything that I needed to do outside of the house already. I still have some stuff to do inside of the house, but I went to Target, I got a bunch of things that I really needed. A new mini tripod, a memory card, some makeup pads, clearance sandals, a work shirt, water. Went to the library, created my first invoice, and emailed it to the person that I needed to feeling very adult about that. And then I went to the post office and I finally sent out the giveaway prizes. So I'm so sorry that it took like a week for me to do that. But Renee and Abby, expect your packages within the week because they're coming. And now we're just reading and taking pictures and cleaning my room. And that's the rest of my day off. Just made myself a quick little macaroni salad over some spinach. I'm gonna wash some friends. And then I figure after I'm done eating them, I'll clean around my room a little bit. I don't know about this whole reading thing. I keep talking about how I'm just not reading, and I'm not... I don't know what else to say about it. I'm happy though, so that's good. Okay, so it's Sunday now. I skipped Saturday because I worked from 5 a.m. to noon, and then I just had this really, really nauseous feeling all day, and I was just not feeling anything except for watching reruns of Friends, so that's what I did. And now it's Sunday, and the last day of the readathon, and I read for about a half an hour today, and I'm, I'm not gonna read anymore today. This readathon has been sort of what people would generally call a failure for readathons. I'm happy I read because it's been quite a charged week. I feel like it's been just like emotionally exciting and overwhelming even though I didn't really get a lot done. It's mainly just me prepping now for what's to come, which I feel like a lot of people are doing right now for school and everything like that. So I don't feel bad about it. I'm happy that I read a little bit, even if it was the tiniest, tiniest bit. I got to page 54 in total of The Vegetarian, um, so a little bit of a chunk through it. And then I also finished Ninth City Burning, which wasn't even on my TBR, but I was reading it beforehand, and it's my camera sitting on it right now, but here's a picture of it. And I also did a review of it, which I'll leave down below. Like I said, I read, it's fine, everything's fine. I'm excited about the things that happened at work. I'm excited about the things that'll be happening on social media within the next few weeks. I'm just, uh, I have so many things that I want to do right now that aren't just like sitting down. So I want to read, but I don't necessarily want to sit down and make time to do it, but I will be, obviously. Today, like I said, I read a little bit of The Vegetarian for half an hour and then I went out because there was a street fair. 
directly on my street, which I didn't even know was happening today. So I walked there with my mom for a bit. I got this little bitty while I was there. I bought him. He's on a necklace chain. He's my new favorite thing ever. I also picked up some pickles. Do you guys ever, ooh, do you guys have pickle stands every time that you go to fairs or festivals? Because we always have pickle stands with all different flavors. So I got my little buddy. I got pickles. I made myself a beautiful salad before going, so I'm gonna enjoy that with some watermelon. I'm gonna edit, and that's gonna be the rest of my day. I'm gonna go to work as well later on, but that's gonna be the rest of my day. Not planning on doing any more reading, so Battle Books didn't get so much reading done this time. We'll try again next time. I hope you guys had a really good reading week. If you participated, let me know how you did. If you didn't participate and you just read, let me know what you were reading, and I hope you guys are having a great day and a great week, and I'll see you soon.